1932, India's cricket team named Maharaja of Patiala as captain, but he got sick and had to step down. Then the Prince of Porbandar was chosen, but he passed the job to C.K. Naidu, known as the top Indian batsman. Team of young Indian cricketers went to England for their first big game at Lord's Cricket Ground. They were eager and determined to show their skills. Their bravery marked the start of India's test cricket journey, inspiring future players. England captain Douglas Jardine won the toss and elected to bat first in the match. The England team would have never anticipated which Indian bowler they would face. Captain C.K. Nayudu handed the ball over to fast bowler Mohammad Nissar. Mohammad Nissar was India's first pacer. He bagged five wickets in India's first test. The confident openers of England team, P. Holmes and H. Sutcliffe, were out early in their innings. Hammond, Jardine and wicketkeeper Jess Ames combined to take their side from three down for 19 runs to 259 runs all out. This was the bowling card of Indian team. Mohammad Nissar was the star bowler. He took five wickets. Medium pacer Amar Singh and skipper took two wickets each. India made a stable start to their first test match. Janardhan Naavle was the opening batsman. He faced the first ball along with his opening partner Naumal Jumal on other side of wicket. Wazir Ali C.K. Nayudu and Sarabji Kola added 93 runs into Indian first inning score. After their dismissal, all team collapsed like house of cards. Indian team was all out on 189 runs. In second inning, England added 275 more runs in previous lead. Again, skipper Jardine was the star batsman in this inning. Douglas Jardine scored 85 runs. How strange it was the skipper didn't play for his first century against India. He declared inning when eight wickets were down. The Indian team never appeared in such a situation that they were winning this match. Mohammad Nisar, the star bowler of first inning, was failed to perform in second inning. He took only one wicket. This time, Jahangir Khan took four wickets. India's struggle continued and they were all out for 187 in the second innings. The match, however, did see the best of Amar Singh, who scored 51 runs while batting lower down the order. Bose, Voce and Brown grabbed two wickets each, and Hammond grabbed four wickets. At the end, India lost by 158 runs. For India, this was just the beginning of a long and illustrious journey in the world of test cricket. Thanks for joining us on this journey through cricketing history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from the world of cricket. Until next time, keep supporting us.